How's it going today, buddies? Hopefully everybody as well. So uh, third time's the charm filming this thing, but uh, let's just dive right into it. Uh, so MDA this past week was actually pretty good. Uh, we've seen L caffeine versus Nitro in now a one-on-one -on -one matchup. This matchup started off good, but definitely not great, but uh, definitely got better as the match actually went on and was really very good matchup. Uh, it was definitely way better than I uh, thought. Uh, this matchup actually kept me on the edge of my seat, which hasn't happened in a pretty decently long time. Uh, so definitely was a hard fought battle and uh, was definitely won, uh, eventually won by Nitro. Um, I thought this matchup was really good, like I said, uh, definitely kept me on, the, me on the edge of my seat. It was one of the better matches that I've seen in the past couple weeks anyway. Uh, so PWG ended up uh, holding an event on October 19th. Um, a triple threat matchup happened, it's seen uh, Puma King versus uh, King Horos. Uh, versus Flamita. Uh, this matchup was definitely rather good, but definitely not amazing. A uh, surprise victory, of course, came when King Puma ended up winning the matchup. Uh, that was uh, definitely uh, not the best triple threat matchup I've seen, but definitely one that was actually rather really good. Uh, Phoenix and Bandito uh, had a matchup uh, as well, a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Now these two are definitely the most sought after luchadors in recent history. Uh, both luchadors are being pursued by pretty much everybody uh, inside the Lucha Libre world and as well as outside the Lucha Libre world. Uh, this match definitely uh, was really, really good. A true Lucha Libre uh, matchup like I've never really seen before, but um, was re was really, really good. Uh, this matchup seen Bandito win, and about a year ago I would have said that he definitely did not deserve to win. I would have said that Phoenix actually should have won that matchup, but now I'm definitely saying that Bandito uh, definitely deserved the win, uh, win that matchup for sure. I'm still not a huge fan of Bandito's, but I'm definitely getting there uh, slowly. He's definitely been getting better with every single matchup. Of course, he's still young, he's still pretty green, still pretty wet behind the ears, but the two ended up putting on uh, definitely the matchup of the night between the two of them. And I'm definitely very excited and interesting to see where uh, Benito's uh, career takes him for sure. Uh, another matchup was Sorcerer versus Jack Sabre Jr. The matchup was definitely very technical matchup and rather good. Uh, not my pickup, not my pick at all for the matchup of the night. Not even really close, um, but it was still pretty good. Uh, we've seen Zach Saber Jr. win. I think Sorcerer should have won that matchup myself, but uh, uh, whatever, right? Now um, our good friends over at uh, Lucha. You know, Lucha Central put on a top 10 of Blue Panther matchups, a list this week. Now, I definitely wanted to try to go through uh, the list of top 10s and give you guys my thoughts on this list that they ended up putting together. Uh, so, you know, if I agree with them or not, I kind of figured it'd be like a fun little thing. But uh, let's go through this match by match. By number 10, they had Blue Panther versus the Mariachi. Uh, this happened in Triple A on October 30th, 1994. Now this matchup has Mariachi in it. Uh, so you know it's gonna be a good matchup. I don't agree that this matchup, however, belongs in the number 10 spot. I think this matchup should have been a lower on the list, like number five, but what number five for sure. You have the two biggest names in Lucha Libre history. Um, yeah, so I, you know, I mean, they had such an epic battle. I mean, it was it was a really epic battle. I think that the two definitely deserve a higher placing on the list for sure. Number nine, they had Blue Panther versus Negaro Casa in CMLL. This took place on March second, two thousand twelve. I would have put this match up myself at number ten. Uh, I get that ne Negro is a true legend. Uh, definitely. Uh, a lot of his matchups have been in top 10 for sure. Uh, I think that he's a top 10 luchador in everybody's books. I just feel that this matchup definitely uh, was a meh. You know, it really wasn't that great of a matchup. Definitely not to um, hit that uh, top 10 uh, status anyway, or at least the 10. Um, number eight, they had Blue Panther versus Love Machine uh, one. Now this matchup was definitely a huge matchup. They were actually even turning away people uh, from the doors that 
because their arena was overpacked. Uh, now that I figured this matchup should not have been on the list at all. Uh, I think this matchup was not really good for both luchadors. I don't think they were both on that night. I definitely found them, this matchup to be a rather big sleeper. Uh, number seven, they had uh, Blue Panther versus uh, Angel Azteca. This match took place on September 4th, 1992. Uh, both both, rest, both luchadors were definitely on their best, definitely, and this will re always be remembered as, um, you know, one of the best matches out there. But uh, I definitely agree that it should be at number seven. Uh, I think uh, both luchadors are, were definitely in their prime during this matchup, but... I don't know, it was, just, it was good, but definitely uh, wasn't great. Uh, number six, they have Blue Panther versus Last Dragon. This match took place on January 21st of 1992. Now, again, I don't agree with this being this low. I agree with it should be on the list, but it should be around 10, probably 8 or 9. This matchup was definitely one of the most explosive matchups really to ever come out of uh, Lucha Libre, both uh, luchadors gave this match every single ounce that they had it was truly amazing matchup and it will definitely live on forever i just however don't think it should be uh i just think it should have been higher up on the list myself probably like i said about number nine or number eight now number five on my list they have blue panther uh and eddie guerrero ella park and psychosis versus son of saint justin thunder liger octagon and tiger mask triple a on May 15th of 1994. Now, I don't think this matchup should myself should even be on the list. I get that you have big, huge names, everybody on this list. It's definitely a true legend, but uh, I think Lucha uh, Central missed the mark uh, putting this uh, list together, especially with this one. Um, I don't even think it was one of uh, Blue Panther's uh, best at all. It didn't really live up to anybody's expectations and it was just kind of a letdown. Next one on the list is Blue Panther versus Love Machine Part 2. Now this match should also not be on the list. There's a lot of other truly great Blue Panther matchups that should have made it rather than this. So I just, I, I don't think it should be on the list. Number three took place on October 9th, 1992, which was Blue Panther versus Super Astro. This match, I agree, should be on the list, but I definitely think it should probably be about number four instead. The matchup between the two is definitely a true, uh, con like two different contrasting styles. You got a high flyer versus more grounded Lucha Libre. This matchup was definitely really good, very interesting, and extremely back and forth. I just think it should be a higher on the list as well. Number two is Blue Panther versus Ad Atlantis, uh, CMLL, on October 9th, or October. Uh, on August 9th of 1991. Now this matchup I would have definitely picked for actually number one. It was not only was it Blue Panther's best, but um, it was one of his best of all time. Uh, definitely number one, uh, I thought that should have been. It was definitely his greatest matchup ever. Uh, number one uh, they have as Blue Panther versus Valino 5 CMLL on September 19th, 2008. The, they have this as number one. I would definitely not have this as number one. I would have it as number five for sure. But like I said earlier, there's so many great Blue Panther matchups. I definitely wouldn't have uh, chosen this one to be close to number one. It was a really good matchup. We're looking at Lucha Libre at the time. Uh, in 2008, matches that were coming out were just okay. Even uh, for Blue, Blue Panther matchup, this was... Definitely not his top matchup at all. But anyway, guys, that's just the whole thing I have. Let me know if you agree with me on the list, on the top five, or if you agree, agree with uh, Lucha Central that they had it right on the money. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's the video for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know very much, and I will check you in the next video.